This is Titai One Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, this is where we bring to you and analyze the biggest stories in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, as, as always, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shunke. It's good, it's Hi. good, guys. How are you going doing? <laughs> Hello. How was your weekend? <laughs> great, great, great. And yours? <laughs> Eventful. Eventful. Cool. Okay. You want to feel us in? Uh, a lot of online events. eventfulness. Oh, okay. Online. Do you want me to dare to off your mic? <laughs> don't talk to us. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It was okay. good, actually. Okay. It was just good. What if about I you? get to re... Nah, yeah. Man, I rested a lot and, um, yeah. I feel things here and there, but yeah, I'm good. You feel things here and there? I feel things oh, here okay. and there. <laughs> yeah, and I felt things here and there as well. Mm. Ah, okay. Mm. Interesting. How did yeah. yours go? It was good. Well rested. Um, obviously, I like being home, eating free food. So, that was yeah. nice. Okay, yeah. cool. You look the only rested. person I know who got an apartment for the week. <laughs> okay well uh, i think entertainment world was also interesting this weekend mm. as kanye west apologizes to his wife kim kardashian west he said and i quote i would like to apologize to my wife kim for going public with something that was a private matter i did not cover her like she has covered me end of quotes mm. Mm. This is a classic case of bipolar mm. because um, one minute you're you're erratic, you're saying mm. things, you're you're acting, saying I'll expose you, and the next minute I don't care if somebody will say oh there there was an intervention or mm. they spoke to him. Obviously, for someone to speak to you and you change or your tone or stage an intervention and then you change your tone that means you're not stable from the onset mm. or you were not sure about what you were saying from the from the start mm. so this is a classic so i feel this is this even shows us more that more than ever before mm. that kanye west needs help mm -hmm. i agree and i think it must be really exhausting for the bipolar tendencies to also be an ego one. Like some people is depression and to, I don't know, whatever else. But away from bipolar, <coughs> whatever, you can see that this man is driven by a lot of ego. And already before bipolar, normal people already str who are egoistic struggle with being rational because when you're driven by egos, you make decisions that are quite hurtful to other people because you can't think about other people other than yourself. So I can imagine that it's really exhausting for Kim Kardashian to be dealing with all of this. I hope that they get through it all because he's still not, I, I mean, I like the apology, but um, he's still not addressing the uh, North story, which is what happens to be the most hurtful for Kim Kardashian. Yeah, I think that was Kim what Kardashian. he was referring to when he said um, for exposing, you. no, that he was ex saying something that was personal to the both of them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Interesting going thing public with something that was a private matter. I, I think wish he hit it on the head a little bit more <coughs> because then he, I think he's well done. Does he have that. the capacity to do that? That's unless no, he does, saying, but that would be speaking he was saying for that, that I did not issue. cover you mm. the way you covered me. I, I mean, that was what came to mind immediately. I read the story. Like, he, I, I feel like it's Kim knows who she got married to to a certain degree. I know there are different things that will pop up based on being bipolar and you know his ego and all that, but. To a large extent, I want to believe he knows him, yeah? So the question is, do you think he has the capacity to actually cover her, um, um, her the mm. way Kim covers mm. um, him as well? Mm. So I don't think he has that capacity. And mm. maybe for her to have more peace, she needs to, if she hasn't understood that already, then she needs to begin to understand him. Maybe there are other ways where he would always make up, like how he wanted you to dump one of your um, mm. deals and... Yeah, followed up with one million, million. million you know stuff like that maybe those are his capacities but <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's his capacity mm. so maybe she needs to understand her for her, that for herself mm. as well i, I think you know. can never really understand you know, people once you go black you can never go back Ugh. so there are other ways it satisfies her as well oh my goodness jesus <laughs> uh, I, 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 I had I, to go there I'm you, sorry. you did <laughs> I, I i have to agree a little bit with what you're saying as well but sometimes i think people 
don't really know their partners or if they do i think this happens a lot to people that you don't think they'll do it to you mm. so even if the person is irrational and is ego driven and but treat you like an angel you never you never really think, think that you get the burn because at the po if that is who that person is mm. it to happen mm. one it, it's just like when you go on a date with a guy and then the guy is rude to all the waiters and all that or even the lady and rude. you feel like oh no i'm the man or i'm the woman the really day like they, they finally switch they will not come and tell you when they're yeah. shouting at them inside their house of course so it's not like oh they treat this person separately so because they're in love with a lot them, of women don't unfortunately I don't think like that, that to be honest yeah. um and, and also another thing is that i think moving forward there's no way that they wouldn't have secrecy in this relationship because mm. if i was kim kardashian the only way to protect myself now will be to preserve kim information that i'm not sure he would flip and then use when he's having a moment to yeah. fit i don't and know I what you call it secrecy is one of my no-nos like exactly. no matter how bad it is let's deal with this together. so i'm very worried about the relationship sense, but we'll see I sense a divorce coming through mm. though that's it's, it's a last strong, week you yeah. said you don't think they will divorce that they will go through they will, they will be strong together Did I say that? yeah Did you were I? hopeful for them what happened over the weekend I, didn't, you? No, I don't think i said that <laughs> I, I said i know that a divorce was in progress for all ah. of this to come out that was what i said last week so I don't think I would. Are you say bummed that. that you're not gonna be able to get your? You're really excited it's about secret, getting yeah. the secret. Like you're going to say if there's an intervention, the juice is going to come out. Yes, I really and want that. I don't think it's coming out. But to think of it again, <clears throat> I realized that people's secrets and people's sadness shouldn't give us joy. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you put it to yourself now. <laughs> That's why I said I realized. Oh, in the moment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. The people's Cut secrets yourself. and people's yeah. sadness shouldn't give us joy. So mm. let them keep their secret, let them keep their sadness, and let them handle it and stay happy. But if you want to spill, we're here well, to yeah, yeah, we're here to, we're here to <laughs> sip the spilled tea. <laughs> okay, moving on from that one. Another very interesting thing which happened over the weekend is Shaito withdrawing rape case against <clears throat> the bunch. Mm. Mm. I mean, this was the um best conclusion that i saw possible um really? I, yeah i didn't oh, think I, I, it started changing after she involved second link to me when the first time that we brought him on the show when i read that story it was and i was like oh we're not gonna win this fight because they're already two very contrasting um people that she was um, that we're supporting her and I didn't see how there will be a definite conclusion, at least not the conclusion I wanted. So Stair has always been, anyone who advocates for rape um, victims, the sole, the sole, um, knowledge, uh, I say the sole the core value of, the, of that organization or that person is to get justice. Whether or not we're tired, whether or not the, the, the odds are stacked against us is to get justice. That's what Stair also represents. But then, um, Stare meaning stand to end, rape. yes, stand to yeah. end rape. But then, Sega Link on the other end doesn't have that vision. If you, if you want that, I'm sure he would um, execute that, but that's not his vision. His vision is to find peace, whatever it's, that looks yeah. like. And for and the way he came in, I think Sega Link stands for justice, it's not just yeah, no, but it's also for the for the Remember victim. Remember, Sega Link said it himself that he is interested in what the victim wants, exactly. So it's, it, it's not necessary, yeah, like, which is justice. justice. No, it's not always justice, it's not always, it's not always justice. <laughs> if I say I want to give up on fighting for justice, he'll back me up in that. Yeah. Stare wouldn't, so Stare would make mm -hmm. sure that they get. The justice, deep, and you see that the, and that that in itself can be argued because at the end of the day, it's, it's about, about the, the victim yeah. exactly. or whatever. So There's not a we, problem. It's not a problem. problem. I'm just telling no. you what the facts are. If you go to someone no, and no. say that you want justice, and that person is is um, made to do that, that's what they're going to get. If you decide to then withdraw, that's now, not on the uh, organization. That's yeah. on you. Yeah. So don't you think Stair is being selfish by no no, no. I, I wouldn't use the word selfish i think what is playing out here i i, I probably no, no 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 probably i've job. had this conversation it's not their before. job it is. because i'm talking about a person's mental health it's it's can, I can, I can i lie can i hold up hold up no Wait, i'm trying to will... explain something okay. so i i wouldn't I agree to calling them inconsiderate. This is I don't know if I've had this conversation on this table, but this is why whenever it comes to anything that has to do with man and woman one, and maybe domestic violence mm. and rape, is a very tricky place mm. to get into because 
at the end of the day, yes, it's truly about the victim, but what are the facts and mm. what is right from wrong? Yes. But yeah. at the end of the day, most times you see these women going back to their abusers. Yep. You see a rape victim saying, you know what, I can't do this anymore, I'm yeah. tired. Mm. As much as you don't want to force them to go for justice, you, you still, still have, have to, to respect it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you being the person who really understands from a non-sentimental yes. angle, you are kind of broken, you are kind of sad. Your movement is not going the way it's supposed yep. to be. Not because you are selfish, mm. but because you know that this is fact and justice. <laughs> Did you hear what you said? Did you hear what you just said? But you said, wait, 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 are you going to drop on. your two? But yes. did you hear yes, what you, you said? Will, you said when your movement is not going the way you want it to. It's not about you. Did you listen to me? Did you listen I listened to, to everything no, you, you said, no, but the part so. that you said that when your movement is not going the way that it, it bothers it bothers the NGO. Of course it is. Uh, so no, please. It is about who comes to you for help. And I'm no, totally, it's not. I am let, totally let, let, sick let, 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 let and tired of NGOs exploiting the vulnerability of people who come to them. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, now, guys. I've been like, I don't need, I don't need, wait, I'm, I'm sick and tired of NGOs exploiting the vulnerability of those who come to them for help and you think you have the know-how on say-all and all of that. Now, Spear said they came up with 1.6 million there. None of it has been remitted to Shayton. Are you guys aware of that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Was it, it yeah. was it, it meant wasn't, to be first remitted of all, Shayton? Exactly. And Spear did not and do this. And the lawyer did not charge Shayton a dime. Dude, they gave and they you wanted to give her a lawyer. She had, even though she had a lawyer on retainer, they wanted to give her a lawyer. And then, did you guys read Shayton's statement where they tried to drag Sega Link again? They did not try to drag they Sega did. Link. They did. And she, so, why did Shayton apologize? Because obviously, Sega Link's feelings are touched by the fact that they are saying so, the oh, truth. Okay, Listen, so Sega Link's feelings are touched, and Shayton felt the need to apologize course, for Sega Link's feelings that are touched. Exactly. What, she, what, are we what saying, she was correcting in her statement was that I think the people from Stair and the other side thinks that Sega Link was the one who initiated the. Um, peaceful meeting, quote and unquote, yes. between Shayton and the, the band team. But she is coming out to say, No, I was the one who reached out to Sega to yeah. say, I need this. That Ste, was what she was Ste, correcting. Yeah. Ste also kind of lied when they said they moved her from safe house to safe house to safe house to safe house. Has she come out to say they didn't move her? They didn't move her from a she, she's she been in the hotel all along, which they said they paid for. <sighs> So why are they saying okay? You this is not about how that. the money was spent or it, how it, it was It is about spent. that because no, it's you, like, it's not about, about money. You, you Sorry, know what? You know what? Money. You know what? This is also about people donating for justice. People donating for a cause. Do you understand? Okay, so from and what, what I from what I know about Stair, they they're not the ones actually in charge of the money, and they mentioned the company that was in charge of it. I didn't bother looking too deep because I didn't think this was going to be a conversation. But those people are. Yeah, that's what they do. They tell you how every single thing was spent and what it was accountable for. And they did the exa exact same thing with this case. And no, nobody, no party, not even social media, has first time I'm hearing that. it, that has questioned that. So I don't know where that is coming from. But you have to understand that people are built for something, which was trying, I was, what I was trying to explain. For example, now, if I had cancer, God forbid, and I went to a hospital and they started giving me chemotherapy and they said, that's what's going to get me to fight. And I said, you know what? My beliefs or whatever, I don't want to do chemotherapy anymore. They cannot encourage me. The hospital cannot encourage me that's to say, Wait, it's, it's the that's, same that's, thing. No, it's not what the, the same hospital thing. is built it's for is to give you medical. Wait now. Wait, if it's not if, if, without chemo, not, not because I don't get um, chemotherapy doesn't mean I'm going to die. It's not. That's not the case. But so like, but the point is that let's I now pain. say, let me finish. Let's say the person now says, okay, you know what? I want alternative um, chemo, whatever. I'm going to go do it in some fancy doctor that is spiritual. That the, the hospital is not going to be able to advise me to do that. They are, what they are going to give me is medical advice. I stand on the fact that you need to do chemo. Therapy does that wait? Listen, okay. does that okay. mean that they don't care about the all right, all right, um, all right, all right. patients? I, I patients, hear you. Um, I hear whatever. You. Okay, from what you just said now, mm. they would not stand to advise you, right? Mm -hmm. But if you get up and say, Look, I'm getting out of here, your yeah. family members come, are they going to stop you? No, at the they door? wouldn't, and they didn't stop her either. Okay, so I think w this whole conversation has moved to too many areas. But for me now, the question I actually saw on social media that kind of makes sense to me is the question of Does this now prove that the band is innocent? No, it doesn't. How on earth does it prove that? Anyway, I well, think well, innocent until proven guilty. Mm. And he has not been proven guilty. Either, so the right? badge is innocent. Okay. Simple. Tea time continues right after this very short break.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Minister of Information Lai Mohammed has allegedly asked NBC to stop Big Brother Niger over COVID-19. Hmm. All right, so I reached out to someone I know in multi-choice and he said it's quite a misunderstanding that they're not shutting down Big Brother Niger. So at least that's a credible source that has just told us that that won't be happening anytime. Nobody has told us they are going to shut it down. Yeah, I mean, This is just uh, yeah. an order that has not even been officially passed to multi-choice anyway. Have, it seems to happen every year. So yeah. I didn't even bother. Yeah. Everybody wants it to for, be cancelled for, for one, one reason, reason or, or the, the other. other. Either so. religious reasons mm. or, yeah. or the lady who thinks that Aousa girls should be modest. Mm -hmm. and Somebody yeah, but, has something to say. Yeah, but looking at it, though, maybe it's time to reiterate the measures that... Uh, multi choice has taken in order to at least ensure that they are safe. So they said they they were in isolation for all the housemates were in isolation for about two two weeks yeah. before they days, yeah. yeah before they got into the house. And after that as well, we all saw the event that mm. is supposed to sanitize them or whatever mm. the word is before they got into the house. So I think they have tried. Even now, Ebuka doesn't have the life. Um, guests Audience, that we would usually yeah. see on their um, live Sunday shows. The anymore. salon has been scrapped have, out. Yeah, and they also said Lagos State government approved the show based on the measures they've put in place. So I think um, if this is really ever a true conversation that is ongoing, maybe the Minister of Information needs to just sit back and look at what they have done. I think you can also see, see that um, there isn't really a system put in place because I, I would have wondered if you really cared or you had that type of power mm -hmm. <clears throat> to say if a show is going to be cancelled or not. You have had this conversation mm -hmm. before the show was like two weeks run, like a week running. Mm -hmm. How many days has it been? Because I'm wondering, what were you doing when the show was being processed and there was like all the backstage, all all. Like, all, like all of that stuff that was happening? Like we've known that um, the lockdown season was going to be there soon. Why didn't you get busy then? So it kind of showed me like, bro, are you actually working? Because if this was your concern, you should have been in the loop for a long time. And maybe it's not your concern. And maybe you don't have any... Maybe you're not important in whether or not the show rise and so in this particular issue. So I and don't then know. come to think of it, um, when we saw the production amount for Big Brother about three billion naira mm. to produce that show, are you going to shut down three billion naira? I'm pretty that, sure they'll have done take, everything they needed to, are you going to, to take, not get a shut down if mm -hmm. they put that type of money yeah. down. Like I said, this happens. And then are you going to take year, food off people's tables mm -hmm. in this? moment that we know there are no jobs people yeah. are sitting at home people are hoping and then now we have people that are actually working you know the production team mm. the technical team the people that make sure in fact the people that did the automated um, sanit sanitation and all of that you know all those things are people a source of income for people mm. so apart from, let's remove all the sentiments and all the uh they are teaching our children bad things that is why it's rated well, 18 children, but... that's why it's rated 18 <laughs> anyway we're not supposed to be watching it anyway that's why it's rated 18 and then there's a place on your remote control in case you don't know that you can block views well, right all the bad no i'm not for even... the people that don't know so in, just in case any parent out there don't know you can actually block your kids from watching it so sure yeah do. But just in case. Just in case. Just in mm. case. You want to say something? Mm, I'm okay. Okay, moving on from that one. Chris Brown and Osha were trending topic on Twitter yesterday as fans debated who would win if they were going against each other in the Instagram versus battle. As expected, some fans were confident Chris Brown would win while others camped with Osha. Chris Brown has now responded to the online debate saying that um, he's busy doing nothing. 
and he's not interested in the Chris battle. Brown, I stand. That response was <laughs> so... I like it that he wasn't for me and I'm busy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I'm busy, nothing for me. Yeah, and, and then the, his response as well when he said, um, the only competition I have is a Chris Brown versus a Chris Brown. Mm. Like, I'm only in competition with myself. Oh, but then she calm down too, Sha. Mm, I think. She calm down. It should calm down. Mm, it should calm down. Well, it and he also, he still showed you that, look, he still insinuated that he was going to win because he said, I can win a versus just with features. Collaborations, right? Just, and which is so true. Mm. Like, let's so, think yeah, about this it. This versus, how many songs? I keep repeating this. It's not 10 songs. You are telling me that Osha Raymond doesn't have 10 Bangers. Bangers. Oh, what are you saying? Ten bangers ah, so now, please, let's come. Eight this is, ones I'm are we say, feeling I've been saying it over, over, over like, a lot. I love Marshall. See, again, like, on this case, I'm going to see. I'm going to be Switzerland. Big, it's not as much of a big deal as the artists are making it seem. So yeah. I don't know what is what they're getting like, high on. But, see, I was okay when he first tweeted the first one about he's not doing anything. When I started bragging a mm. little bit more, I'm like, do you know who we were yes. talking about what here, fam? Let's even look at the vocals. Like he has. Features Even Usher's features, fam. Like, mm -hmm. okay. Let I'm burn, Team Usher. Though. The thing is, I love, burn, I love both of them. I actually do burn. love both of them. And um, I think Chris, I say Chris Brown. Yeah, I think Usher is should be one of those that Chris Brown actually looked up to yeah. in the industry. So, yep. which is why his response after the "I'm not doing yeah, anything" was a bit, was a yeah. bit icky. Like, dude, yeah. fine, you're big, you're Chris Brown. We love you, but. Please respect those that were there before you. You know, that's the problem. Respect those that were there before you. If somebody that was there before me and I'm doing better than someone that was there before me, what's, I have to brag him right. What ground are we even using to say that he's doing better? No, I'm, exactly? saying, no I'm not saying he is. I'm saying okay. that if he feels he's doing better than someone that was there, don't you be can say that giving without, me that no, but then why, how, why, how or would because you somebody was feel, there before me. You see, me, you see even that rationale to, that to me is a bit weird. If you say that you feel like you're doing better than the other person because it's hard to even compare your, pre yeah, your predecessor to the other person because you're not in the same competition. You're not in the same era. Like You can't, you can't forget that um, Usher has had a lifetime of career before we even knew who Chris it's Brown not, was. Yeah. And he willingly converted to music producer whatever with the Justin Bieber's and the Justins and yeah, all those other all those people he get he did all that and then you came into the limelight with a different persona so in what rationale are you comparing. using to say that you are better than Osha like I'm still waiting because if it's vocals if it's bangers if it's heats if it's crowd if it's fans it's like sexiness fans. do you get what I mean mm. like let me reply for Chris Brown <laughs> please don't judge me <laughs> And I won't judge you. Right. <laughs> I actually love that song when FIA did the cover, but yeah, that's fine. Anyway, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter, Twitter Plus TV Africa. Also catch up on this episode and all exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, A Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always go to my interesting co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shoke and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.